Hello everyone, Rona Mac here. Uh, so, the lady had bought me this software probably a year ago where I could uh, watch VHS tapes and either put them on the computer itself or burn them to DVD. Uh, I just finally got around to installing it yesterday and then pretty much wasted my whole day watching all these old VHS videotapes that I had. I don't tend to watch my VCR anymore because it's so outdated. But, um, this video here is my mother and my sister had come to uh, see my graduation from airborne school. They seriously had about uh, 45 minutes of video. I had to kind of cut this stuff down to uh, the nitty gritty. You can see these guys going up the 250 foot tower. And they're going to drop down just to practice landing. Sort of a confidence building exercise for everybody going to get their wings. Anyhow, as I was watching this stuff, I just got so nostalgic. I mean, this uh, literally was the best of times and worst of times. And I had, I wish looking back, um, I had had video camera, even just a regular photo camera back in these days. Um, just watching this video itself. Um, just got me thinking back to those days and uh, the good times that I had. Marching in unison with all these other men and and uh, some ladies were in jump school at the time. It was about uh, one or two percent I think of the student body of uh, airborne school. There's a little Huey lifting off. I never spent a lot of time in Hueys myself. We always flew around in Blackhawks, but uh, Hueys were still out there. Yeah, so I was, uh, honestly, I was terrified of heights when I was a kid. And I figured, I'm going to go on the Army. What better way to conquer that fear than uh, go airborne? And you can jump out of helicopters like that. Generally speaking, uh, I've got like 45 jumps, uh, 44 were all static line, so you basically jump out and the, the line pulls your chute. I only jumped once out of a helicopter, like similar to what these guys are doing, and that was like a, a weekend fun thing that me and a couple of uh, buddies of mine did. And these uh, Hollywood chutes are not what we used, what we used were... Uh, Pretty much identical to what, what you see the guys dropping out of the towers doing. There we are, Fort Benning. This is the airborne graduation ceremony. Lots of marching around and waiting for the festivities to start. And you can see most of us at this time are wearing, we called them leg hats. It was just the regular army uniform hat. So we were pretty excited that we were going to get to uh, wear our maroon berets as, uh, you know, airborne soldiers. And it's kind of disappointing nowadays that everybody in the Army wears a black beret, which in my day was uh, relegated to the people that had earned it by going through ranger school. Uh, and now everybody, that's me right there, big, tall, skinny kid. I weighed uh, I weighed about 138 pounds when I graduated high school. At this point, I'm probably up to 150, maybe 160, because uh, I was rail thin, and obviously going through basic training and then uh, airborne school gets you in a little better shape. And 
How stoked are all these people? We get to be airborne now. I mean, there's so many of these these guys that uh, I had forgotten about, but I just saw them in the video, and I was like, oh, yeah. And these are uh, three of our instructors were doing this little jump into the graduation ceremony just to ooh and ah the friends and family that had come to see it. This is, uh, I think my sister was filming this. She was a, a vlogger and didn't even know it. First one here is uh, Delta Company. That was my training company when I was in jump school. And those shoots, like I said, I've only got, got to use one one time and it's just amazing how much control you have and how slowly you can fall and you can you can land just right on your feet versus the ones that that we used where you drop like a rock and hit like a ton of bricks when you get to the ground and here I am uh, I, a lot of guys were getting uh, the instructors to put their wings on and pound them into their chest but Personally, I could think of no one better suited to pin my wings on than my mother since uh, she tr took the trouble to come down and uh, see my graduation. And it's uh, funny seeing 19 year old or 18 year old me. Yeah, I was 18. Any comments? That goofy kid. And we're going to listen to the army song and then uh, from there we out processed out and uh, I got to go on leave finally after uh, 13 weeks of basic training in AIT and then another uh, few weeks going through airborne school. You change a lot in a short period of time that's for sure. Some of the guys could not wait to get their berets on, but I didn't have my uh, appropriate insignia stitched on yet. Now, most of the videos that I, I reviewed yesterday are basically family videos that they took while I was gone in the service. And this one really teared me up, That the dog there, Dusty. He was a show-quality dog that... Uh, friend of mine's parents got divorced and they couldn't keep him so I took him. I got that dog when I was 13 years old. Uh, he lived two weeks shy of 20 years old. Um, aside from the years I was in the army he was always my dog and uh, just the greatest dog I ever had. He was so well trained, he was so uh, so friendly. I, I got a little misty eyed when I was watching this. Um, video with him and my my grandmother and both of them are past now so it was kind of uh i got a little misty i gotta say but, uh, he was a good dog that's all i got for now guys i'll uh, be reviewing more